Okay, we need to address this. We're gonna talk about the most important thing in UI design. In fact, it's so important that you can even use Comic Sans or very ugly, you know, eyesore-like gradients and you'll still be fine if that one thing is perfect. Of course, you can use even better colors, better gradients and a good font and it's gonna make your design even better. But this one little thing is seriously the most important thing that you need to know. So do you know what that is? I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to leave a comment and tell me. Let's have a discussion in the comments. But if you've been following me for a while, then it's likely that you already know what that is. And if for some reason you're not following me yet, click that subscribe button that's somewhere here on the bottom, because it looks better when it's selected and also it's not really in Comic Sans, so at least that part is good. Okay, if you left the comment already, time for the big reveal. The most important part of user interface design is grid, layout and hierarchy. And I combine them together into just one thing, even though they're kind of separate things, because I feel that they are very strongly connected and you really need to think of them as a whole. Now, if you're thinking grid, you're probably thinking about those vertical lines, the layout lines. And while they are what makes the grid, they're not really the most important thing that you need to consider when you're starting out. And to me, they're kind of like bars in a prison, like, you know, you're holding them like this and like, oh, let me out of this gritty mess. But there is one thing that you really need to focus on, and it's not that. You can get to that later, we have a whole chapter on that part in our book, but there is one thing that you can start with before, and it's gonna help you, help you like in a big, big way. So let me show you where to start if you wanna level up your UI game. You need to start thinking about your UI elements as blocks. In this example, we can clearly draw rectangles on top of every object. Now let's hide the objects and now we can get to work. Hierarchy comes from the rule of proximity, which means basically that if two objects are close together, they're naturally perceived to be a group. So if you want to make this mess a little bit clearer for the user, we simply need to rearrange the spacing. The smaller the space between objects, the more connected they feel. So the bigger the space, the more separate they feel. That's pretty easy. But if there is a larger space between some elements, they're perceived as larger groups. If you're just beginning, start with a number that feels right. Let's call it x. Everything within an internal group should have a distance of x. Everything that's a larger group should have a distance of 2x. This is how you create hierarchy. The only thing to remember now is to keep that same hierarchy for other elements. So if you're making a form, use x as the distance between a label and the form field, and then 2x as the distance between the form field and the next label. That way we can avoid messy designs and it's gonna be simple. So think of elements as individual blocks and use spacing to define them as groups. We process groups faster and it just makes the design look better. Okay, one last tip to remember. If you're using left alignment in blocks or cards, and it's probably best to use left alignment because it makes it easier to read. It's much easier than a center aligned element. If you're using left alignment, make sure that if you have that left edge that you align everything to, that all of the objects are actually touching that edge. Because in some cases you might go fast and some things might be just a little bit off, you know, just move to the side a tiny bit and that's gonna instantly make our brain work harder, make it process this whole thing a little bit longer, and it's just bad design. You can use the standard design tool align technique. So just select all the objects and just align them to the left. And of course you can then zoom in and use optical alignment for some objects and some fonts, but that's another story. Now go practice it, and if you found this video helpful, here's another one that's gonna help you even more with layout and hierarchy, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with others so we can grow this community and have even more awesome stuff in the future. Cheers!